Hey, Super Bromancer, welcome back to Fire Emblem Sacred Stones. I almost said Halo 3. So, uh, in between, I just did a little iron man item management, and now we're going to head up to Castle Rinval. So like, like the classic Fire Emblem, right, is like a castle siege. Like you have one chapter where you fight outside the castle, the next chapter you fight inside the castle. That's what this is going to be. This is the outside, and the next chapter is the inside. You got it, friends. Alright, this is definitely going to be a tough chapter. There's a ton of units. It's even a ballista over here. Which is right annoying. Look at that attack range. Um, just a ton of units. There's this ballista up here that I could send Nimi over to. But she sucks. I don't think I've ever gotten a kill. I don't think she has any experience. I think she's 1-0. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're just gonna basically just walk forward and kill everyone in our way. And, like, that'll be about it. Like, this chapter's not that hard. It's probably the most difficult chapter. We'll get a Nightcrest, though, and that, that's awesome. Yeah, this guy's not even, not even bad. Look at him. Thinks he's bad, but he's not. Oh, I don't want calm. Yeah. Oh, fuck. C10. I knew it. Also 10. Also 10. Also, okay, 113. See, because, like, the thing is, I don't have another good combat unit, right? So, Natasha is probably the best choice because then at least I'll have another healing unit. But that also means I have another unit I need to look after. Because Natasha. It's a good chance she'll get one-shotted by basically anyone on the map. She's only got like eight speed and like and uh, two defense. So in light of that, in light of that, I might as well take her because I don't really have another good option. I think Mulder needs another staff. And we should be good. Just gonna save it. Got my fucking wrist hurt. Playing too much melee lately. <laughs> Alright. So... Seth is going to lead the charge east, and his first order business will be to take out that 
that ballista. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll also have, like, Joshua and Nimi going north to get that ballista. Damn, good job, friends. He, he kicked the guy's ass. Friends is turning into- oh god. Oh god. Too many yawns. <sighs> friends is turning into a badass. Before long, he's probably gonna be the strongest unit on my team. I'll send Garcia up there also, just for some... Extra damage, extra support. Oh, uh, hold, hold on. I gotta pause real quick. Alright, we're back. Go forward, Josh. Go forward and crush noobs. <laughs> Don't miss, Seth. Come on. You're better than that. I wonder if Vanessa could somehow, like, kill all these guys up here. Oh, I gotta watch out for this Ballista, though. Ballista will absolutely fuck up, um, poor Vanessa. But yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and send Vanessa up here. Look at that. Look at that epic dodge. Unfortunately, Vanessa does not get the benefit from terrain bonuses, because she's a flyer. Otherwise, she would be absolutely unkillable. Because you'd, cause you'd always be able to get the best terrain bonus. Oh, that was great. Well, good. The thing is, like, if, if Vanessa gets into much trouble, she can just leave. She can just fly away. Flyers really are some of the best units in this game. Especially because you can train them so much. Oh, you picked the wrong guy to fuck with. It's actually going really, really great. Even, even Arter is kicking ass right now. I don't know why I bothered trying to do this up here. It's a total waste of time. Uh, let's go ahead and send Garcia back the other way. I don't know, I, m I might get, like, and get shot off with, uh, with Nemi. Truth is that ar archers just suck in this game. Absolutely. Hmm. 
see. Vanessa, go give it to him. Oh my god, is she level 10? No, no. Yeah. You can do better. You can do better. I know you can. Wow, he's level 11 now. That's awesome. Uh... <laughs> uh, one damage. What a punk. Okay, well that that wasn't that wasn't punk like. Not at all. Actually, sending Nimi and Joshua up there was 100% a waste of my time. <laughs> so if if the soldier hits Vanessa, or if the, if the warrior hits Vanessa, and then the mercenary hits Vanessa, she's left with one health, but she's gonna survive. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. I, you know, I sort of remember there being some reinforcements, so I'm gonna leave those two there, just in case. Now these two will go forward to kill the Ballista. Meanwhile, everyone else will wait just outside of its range. I'll have Erica go down into its house. Next turn. Oh, wow. Well, good job, Ballista. You really... <sighs> See, the thing, like, I hate Ballistas, right? Because I'm always so scared of them. But the thing is, they suck. They just suck. They either miss or they don't even do that much damage. Against, like, the magic users or... Units like Erica or Joshua or Vanessa, right? They're they could be dangerous, but everyone else is just you just forget about them. Get Seth on. Seth, our Lord and Savior. So now these guys can move forward. See, the thing is though, Ballista can't cross trees. And everyone in range of the Ballista is dead now. So now there's really like no point to us being here. But I can't shake the feeling that there's going to be some reinforcements. So they're just going to stay right there, just in case. there. Vanessa, unfortunately, is not going to be able to assault the other side of that bridge because of the archers there, who will do extra damage to her. So it's like, it's not like a problem, right? We'll just send friends instead. I might have fucked up. I might have really fucked up. We'll see you next turn. I don't know. Like, that guy doesn't have that much hit, right? Only like 95. She's got 35 avoid. There's no way she's gonna get doubled, right? I mean, 16 speed. This guy doesn't have 16 total anything.
God damn it. You see? Do you see what my mistakes almost cost? Ugh, not just me, but all of us. Because I would have had to restart this entire damn chapter. God damn it. God damn it. I'm so I'm fucking stupid. Why do I do these things to myself? Yeah, go attack friends, you fucking bastard archer. I don't like you. That's that. I don't think he even has a, a, a javelin. Oh, he does. Damn it. <coughs> Jesus Christ, that was loud. On the campus, on the place where I go to college, there are a lot of like pine trees and cedar trees. And I'm actually kind of allergic to those trees. So I spend, like, all my time on this fucking campus. And they, like, gouge me with tuition hikes and shit. And then they make me sneeze because of their goddamn trees. It's, it's, it's complete and utter bullshit. God, five damage. Oh, this guy's got a ton of health. Let's here, let's do uh let's do this. Yeah. You suck, that's why. <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking Erica. Oh my god. Nice. Nice. Oh uh, yes, in the Nightcrest. And that is another chapter down. That was a short episode. I don't mind, because the next one's going to be long. And they're just going to get longer. Wait. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. I thought that... I thought that the next chapter was a chapter we played as Ephraim and Kyle and Ford and Orson. But it's not. We actually already did that. I guess that was the last thing... That was a, that's 5x. That was the last thing we actually did. God damn it. I feel dumb. I am dumb. God damn it. I need to sleep more. Seth knows something's up. Can't can't get one on over. Can't get one over on Seth. He's too smart. Oh, so we gotta we gotta end it there because it goes right into the next chapter. So, um, doing we're doing great. Two chapters down already, and it's only like ten o'clock. So we will uh, reconvene in the next episode to hopefully kick the shit in of whatever. Troops are left inside of this castle. This has been Nick from Bromancer, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.